Hello and welcome to Glorious Miniatures. My name's Jolien and in today's video we've got another video on the Warhammer World Anniversary. Make sure that you like, subscribe and indeed hit the bell for notifications. While you're doing that, I will start the video. So as the Twin-Tailed Crusade constructs a new settlement in Aquishi, those forgotten by Sigmar in the Age of Chaos stalk the Great Parch, battling for survival under the watchful gaze of the ruinous powers. The Dark Oath tribes live via the maxims of strength and duty, but few are as ferocious as the Brands. Infamous for their ruthlessness, this tribe is ruled with steely conviction by Gunnar Brand and his oath-bound kin. Aha! The Dark Oath. Okay. So you may have seen Gunnar and his oath-bound in animated action on Warhammer Plus in the, Warha in the Hammer and Bolter episode, Monsters, but now his coterie of killers stand poised to hit the tabletop in plastic. Many amongst the Dark Oath place little trust in the gods they are fated to serve, but Gunnar's contempt runs even deeper. He believes mortals should live and die free from the meddling of gods, whether they wield holy hammers or hellish powers. With this conviction, he leads the brands on a path to conquest and domination, earning boons through carefully sworn oaths even while resisting the seductive calls of the Chaos Gods. His greatest rival and most fearsome ally is War Queen Hanari, an ambitious warlord. She doesn't share Gunnar's skepticism of the gods, but respects his tenacity and successes in casting back Sigmarite invaders who encroach on the Dark Oath homelands. So let's scroll down and have a look. So I believe this is Gunnar right here. Got a couple of axes. Got some fabulous hair, obviously. One of the most important things of any war boss. Uh, it looks like he's got an optional different shoulder piece. Is that a, is that a different shoulder or is it the same uh, same? Hmm, I might be the same one actually. Maybe the angle's just completely throwing it off. However, uh, it is a pretty sweet mini by the looks of it. Um, and then the War Queen is right here. She's looking pretty fabulous. She's got a spear, some kind of uh, what would you call this? A rune, I think. Is that, is that a sword? Yeah, I assume, I think that's a sword that she's got holding. Yeah, that is a sword she's got there, or at least a very large dagger. So that's another sweet looking mini. The imposing Dendral Diabrand is no true brand. Descended from a long line of Aquitian nobility that was all but stamped out by Corgus Cull and the Gortide, this muscle bound warrior contains multitudes. While his strength and skill make him Gunner's expert in siege and smithing, his heritage also allows him to equal easily pass for a reclaimed and slip unnoticed into Sigmarite settlements. Despite Gunnar's deep mistrust of the Chaos Gods, he knows the power they command. He leaves it to Broken Nadja to divine their intent. Though he is wary of all touched by the ruinous powers, Gunnar cannot help but respect that Nadja has never once led him astray. Though her own motivations are co-opted by visions of slaughter and conquest for Gunnar, if only he walks the path of glory. So I guess that is, um, so let's have a look at those two. So there is the Siege Noble. That's a, I do like, I do like a lot of these, uh, Dark Oath minis. I wanted to, I wanted to get the previous, um, was it War Queen? War Queen? I know she's got a name for the life of me. I can't remember it, uh, but I do, I do like these ones. Uh, they, they look pretty tempting. And then let's have a look at... Oh, hello. Oh, okay. So, I guess she's somewhere underneath this sort of cloth or cloak or whatever you want to call it. And she's got some kind of mask going on right here. Unless she is, of course, half bird. Which is a possibility, I suppose. Okay. And then, daughter of Gunner and heir to the Brand tribe, Sigrid is one of the finest horse riders in the Great Parch. Brash and headstrong, she frustrates her father, but has also saved his life countless times with a well-placed arrow. Okie dokie, so there she is on that horse. The horse has the horse has a mask, very important. Also got a bit of chest armor, quite important as well. A whole load of uh, weaponry as well, and uh, runes, etc. Yep, another cool mini. Will, will I be getting them? Who knows? As well as starring in an episode of Hammer and Bolter, Gunner Brand is also going to be the scar of an upcoming Black Library tale, Dark Oath by Chris Thurston. When a calamity ravages his homeland, Gunner must face his fate and lead his tribe on an exodus through the war-torn land of Aquishi, as the Dark Gods tempt him with 
unimaginable power. Oh, yes, we like un unimaginable power. And there is the book there. Gunner and his oath brand will be staking their claim on the mortal realm soon. But hang on. What are those shadowy shapes gathering on the horizon? Hurry back to reveal hub before things get nasty here. Ooh, who, who knows what they are? I certainly don't. But there is uh, one more video coming out after this. Uh, so do check top right hand corner. Hopefully I will link to it. And also, don't forget to like, subscribe, and indeed hit the bell for notifications so you get those future videos. Get a nice little uh, email saying I've released a new video. And in a couple of months, I'll actually be back to painting, I hope, uh, with all of my fingers crossed. That's all I gotta say. Do we like this? I'm. I, I can certainly, I could certainly imagine painting a couple of these miniatures up as a fun little project on the side, but um, I, I don't think it's quite for me. However, I know a lot of people will be very happy to see some new, uh, new range of uh, miniatures on the Dark Oath side of things. So that's always a good thing. Thank you very much, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.